Hey there, all you YouTubers. It's Tony O with Tony O's Reviews. It's been a, been a little while. I had to take another job. Um, I'm on a day off right now, so I'm trying to get some videos in. Uh, what I've got for you up first is the UV Room Sterilizer. This whopping light, you plug in and you put it in a room and you leave it and it uses UVC light to sterilize everything. It also has ozone it puts off that fills the room and sterilizes everything that it comes in contact with. I'll put the description down below of everything that it does. Um, that being said, it's also quite dangerous. Um, it said it was LED and so when I first plugged it in I was looking at it I don't know if you can see the little coils down there um, but it kind of works like fluorescent light um, best I could find on the internet and it actually contains mercury gas um, I was looking at it sort of like president looking at the eclipse and you're not supposed to look at it. I woke up in the middle of the night. My eyes were just killing me. Like I'd been looking at a, somebody welding on something or, you know, without goggles. So <clears throat> don't look at it. Don't be in the room with it. The ozone is not good for you. You're supposed to, once it finishes its, its job, um, you have to let the room ventilate for up to an hour um, like it depends on how long I leave it on how long I, I let the room vent but it's it's got a little remote so you plug it in and then you set it for 15 minutes 30 minutes or an hour depending on the room size if it's in my living room I usually set it for an hour smaller rooms 30 to 15 minutes um, I will plug it in let you look at it um, I don't think it's gonna hurt looking at it through the screen but I will not look at it again um, what I do is I plug it I plug it in I, I flip the switch and once I see it flicker on I leave the room wait for it to shut off and I go back and uh, and get it later but let me plug it in without breaking it Yeah, if you break it, it's hazardous because of the mercury. So you don't you want to be careful with it. And if you do break it, um, you want to take precautions when you're cleaning it up. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm just going to turn my back and see if I can get it centered here. And hit the 15 minutes. So it's, it's burning the gas and it's not LED and you can smell the ozone and then like the next day or you know whenever you go back in there once it's cleared out everything is um, sanitized, the ozone's gone, it leaves a nice clean smell. The ozone doesn't smell so great, but I feel like that's how you know it's cleaning. So that's the the ultraviolet light room sanitizer. Um, get one today. Great for classrooms. If you're a teacher, put it in your classroom when you leave at night. Come back, everything will be sterilized in the morning doctor's offices um, if you just want to do rooms periodically around the house that's what I've got it for um, don't have to go around and wipe everything down with Clorox just set that out and uh, everything's taken care of this is Tony O Tony O's Reviews I'm going to rate that uh, before I get out of here I'm going to rate it 
like a 7.6, 7.8. I feel like it's a really good um, tool. I feel like it'll be good for a long time. You know, one, even after the virus is gone, I think uh, it kills, I looked it up on the internet and it, it kills microorganisms, all kind of things. UVC light is what the clouds filter out from coming in. If, if the clouds didn't filter the UVC light, we couldn't live because it would kill everything. So <clears throat> it's different than just UV, A, and B. So, uh, and I've got the UVC wands. They're not as strong as that. They don't produce the ozone. They're a little safer. They may take a little bit longer to sterilize. You know, if you're wiping over something, you might have to hold it there a little bit longer because they're not as strong. But this, this is a strong room air sanitizer. Rating it, uh, what did I say, 7.6. I think it's a good deal. Um, this is Tony O, Tony O's Reviews. Check out everything down below. I'll put a description to the website down below. Thanks for watching.